Hey everyone, my name is Judy from Happy Holistics and I wanted to show you what I use to brush my teeth with. If you've been following my channel, you're probably not surprised that I make my own toothpaste. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome and what are you waiting for? Hit that red button down below to subscribe to Natural Living Tips, Yoga, and all these fun DIYs. In this video, I'm going to show you how I DIY my own tooth powder. And about two minutes towards the end, I talk about all the ingredients and how I came up with this concoction. Spoiler alert, it is heavily based on commercial health food store products. If you've never tried tooth powder before, I can only describe it as probably the same sensation as if you had chalk in your mouth. Although I've never actually eaten chalk myself, they are made out of the same ingredient, calcium carbonate, and you can probably expect very little foaming and very little taste on its own. The good news is that I think it's a lot less disgusting than baking soda. So let's get to it! You're going to need a small container. I reused the glass one that I had on hand. The main ingredient is calcium carbonate from the health food store. An optional ingredient includes xylitol for sweetness and peppermint flavor oil for that minty fresh feeling. In my container, I put a ratio of 4 parts calcium carbonate to 1 part xylitol. This means that you can make as much or as little as you want. You can do 4 tablespoons calcium to 1 tablespoon sweetener or 4 shot glasses calcium to 1 shot glass of xylitol. You can use anything to measure with as it's not exact. Since my container won't hold that much, I put about 4 spoons of calcium carbonate and 1 spoon of xylitol. Here's the addition of xylitol. You can adjust for the ingredients depending on how sweet you want it to taste. Then to add peppermint flavor, I used a dropper because this stuff is potent. Too much and you can feel an unpleasant minty burning sensation. I used about 4 drops and mix this all up. To use, just wet your toothbrush, dip it into the powder and brush the way your dentist has taught you. It really is about proper technique rather than what you're brushing your teeth with that keeps you cavity free. I basically came up with my ingredients by checking out some popular natural toothpastes that are sold. Here's a closer look at the ingredients and what I changed. I removed the water since I don't mind brushing with powder. I didn't need the lemon extract nor tea tree since peppermint was enough for me in terms of scent and flavor. Please note that I used flavor oil, not essential oil, because the safety of essential oils for internal use is unclear. I didn't bother with the sorbitol, which is a sugar alcohol and offers a sweet taste. I had the xylitol, which is a sweetener that seems to reduce the occurrence of cavities. I've linked some studies in the description box below. I also left out the menthol, which gives you that cooling sensation, since I already had the peppermint oil. Hydrated silica and calcium ascorbate act as abrasive agents and may contribute minerals. Since calcium carbonate does the same thing and is less expensive, I don't think I'm missing out on anything. When ingested, calcium ascorbate is easier for the body to absorb than calcium carbonate. But since I'm not eating it and since it's only on my teeth for about 2 minutes, I'm not overly hopeful that these will make that big of a difference. Glycerin has a humectant quality to it, so it likes to absorb water. While dehydrated teeth gives you a temporarily whiter smile, it doesn't last. I'm also not sure I like the idea of drying out my teeth, as this can lead to more cavities long term. Xanthan gum is often used as a binder and thickener. Since I left my toothpaste as a powder, I didn't really need the xanthan. Lastly, cocoa glucoside is a foaming agent and doesn't really have a high toxicity according to both the environmental working group as well as good guide. Since I don't really need foam though, I also left it out. That's all I have for this week. For more information about what I do, please visit my website at www.happyholistics.ca and remember to subscribe.